Hi, my name's Michelle. This is my Two Rivers horse boarding facility. To start off, I wanna do a nice, beautiful pan of our boarding facility, everything that our boarding facility has to offer. We have three different types of fencing. We've got metal fencing, we have pipe fencing, and then we also have barbed wire. So it really works for any horse and all of your horse's needs. This wood is great because it comes in the board charge and you can do whatever you want with it for $1,252 a month. You could make jumps, you could make um, cavalettis, anything you want really. We also have a tire free of charge. As you can see right here, no water is provided. You provide your own, but we will charge you um, if you would like to use our lovely hose that we just bought. As you can see, we just put up this lovely fence attached on one end and it's just really sturdy, just really a sturdy fence. No horse is gonna be able to get out of this, don't worry. Even when they starve, they won't be able to leave. Okay, so moving into the gate, we got the gate attached. We just reattached the gate. Just some wires, you know, we put some wires up for you. We put some hay string on this side for you. Again, 825 with nothing included. If you want water or hay, it's extra. Tons of unique fencing. We got some plants really makes the whole thing look luscious. We also have a quarter shelter so your horse can be protected by the rear. Let's take a walk over there. Really just a great, great improvement. Great improvement, love it. We really tried our hardest to make this just a lovely shelter. Not covered by the top, but horses actually don't need shelter. They just, they don't need it, okay? This, free of charge. Again, 825 a month, you get a quarter shelter. So your horse is protected by one side. We have taken it upon ourselves to really make this place great. We have two jumps, okay, one, two. So this doubles as an arena, okay? So we have arena and we have pasture board with shelter. Just incredible. I love the jumps, probably my favorite part about it. And you have all the wood in the world to make this whatever you want, barrel racing, roping. Hey bitch, and welcome back to me talking about people I hate. Guys, today's video we're doing another weird horse people on Craigslist that need to be stopped. I've never come across weirder shit in my life than the weird horse people of Craigslist that post horse boarding ads, horse for sale ads, etc. Now, as somebody who is a huge connoisseur of Craigslist, I love Craigslist, I buy so much stuff on Craigslist. As you guys know, I'm a super cheap person. Like, girl, you will not find me paying full price for literally anything. So this is not to shit on Craigslist, it's just to shit on the crazy horse people of Craigslist. Just tip number one, if you don't take anything away from this video, you can take this away. Never buy horses off Craigslist. <laughs> Before we get to it, you guys, we're doing closeouts on linkequestrian.com. Definitely head over there if you want to pick anything up. Okay, okay, let's now get to it. You know, horse ads on Craigslist has been a long time joke in my household. It's just funny because you get a lot of people who don't know how to price horses, don't understand training or types of breeds. They just don't understand anything about these horses. And you'll get these hilariously large price points of like $20,000 for a grade horse that's got feet, back, confirmation issues, and no training. <laughs> so we're gonna start off. I'm just gonna type in horse. Okay, and we're gonna see what we find. <laughs> oh my God. Quarter horse, $10,000. One million dollars. This horse better have some seriously good training if you're gonna sell a quarter horse for 10 grand. <laughs> this is Cool Whip. He's a super, super capitalized, nice, sweet, gilding quarter horse for sale. <laughs> gilding. Okay, so I'm assuming that they're saying gelding, 
because gilding is a type of art. So right out of the gate, these people are asking you to take them seriously and give them a $10,000 paycheck for their horse, but they don't even know how to spell gelding. You can do pretty much anything on him, and he's always been down to learn something new. AKA, this horse has <laughs> probably very little to no training at all. <laughs> Whenever you hear people say, oh, well, you can pretty much do anything on him, that basically just means that they don't know anything about the horse really at all, or they've done very minimal training. Because if a horse actually has a significant amount of training, then they're going to list that out immediately and be like, this horse has dressage background or a jumping background, has a decent amount of flat work, etc. My husband roped off him quite a bit. He's worked on a ranch a lot, has only had two owners. He goes my cool whip and is nine to 10 years old. So basically the only thing they've done with this horse is a little bit of roping, which you can train any horse to do very easily. And they're saying that he's nine to 10 years old which basically means that they also don't have papers. Ah, uh, we just got his feet done. I love how they include shit like that. Like, oh, well, we got his feet done. You're not gonna pay somebody more money just because they kept up with the horse's basic needs. I love it when horse ads say that. It's like, all you have to put is, by the way, the horse is up to date on everything. But when you get people listing out, oh, the horse had his feet done, has all of his shots, has this, this, and this, it's like, yeah, congrats. You basically just kept up with the horse's basic care. You're not gonna get paid more for that. He does get a cold back every time you saddle him, so he is horse that needs a good warm up everything you saddle. But what? how old is the person who wrote this ad? That means that they've literally done like no training with him at all and he has no papers and they've only managed to keep up with the basic care of this horse. Oh my god, need a home ASAP $15,000 for a grade horse with no training. What? They don't even know how to spell gelding correctly. Also, he's a gelding. I love it when people sell geldings and they say, oh, but he's got great papers. What is anybody gonna do with that? If it's a gelding and you can't breed the horse, then the papers have like no value at all. All that that means is, okay, the horse had some good breeding, so he's probably not gonna have any health issues. To say that you're selling a gelding for $15,000, all because the horse has good papers, which this horse doesn't even have. At that point, what you're selling is the training. So if your horse has no training at all and is a gelding but has good papers, still, you're not selling the fact that the horse was bred well because the horse can't continue breeding. There's no money to be made there. So what you're selling is the training. I love this. I love it when people, and we actually have a pet peeve of, of this at my barn because we come across so many people that sell geldings for so much money just because they have good papers, but they have no training at all. And there's no value in that. This horse has no papers, no training at all. They're basically saying he's got back problems, most likely, or they've ridden him in saddles that didn't fit. And they're wanting to sell him for $15,000. For what? What are you selling? What? What? No wonder. I bet you that they dropped the price because it says 10000 at the top and 15000 at the bottom. I bet you this horse has been sitting for a long time because nobody's going to pay that. Nobody's going to pay you fifteen or even $10,000. You want to know my honest truth? This horse is probably worth 2000 maybe, maybe 3000 that's, that's really all that this horse is worth. You can't sell a horse that has no training and is just a gelding for 10 grand. <laughs> Mule and horse boarding. Bro, this looks like a stage. What even is this? This is just a big open backyard that somebody put up. It, it's got open sides. All it is is just closed at the top. So they want $300 a month just because they put up a very shitty shed with a barbed wire fence around just some dirt. Large open corral with two shade coverings. 
shared space with owner's meal. Oh, so you're not even getting the full space. You're sharing it with their mule. Feed pellets and whole oats. We'll feed additional supplements provided by the border. So you're not even getting hay. You're not even getting hay. Wash rack, tack shed, trailer parking. Where's the tack shed? Doesn't look like there's anything there. Ride out on trails from property. Okay, so they don't even have an arena either. I mean, this is basically just somebody's backyard that they fenced in with some shitty barbed wire fencing, and they're wanting somebody to pay $300 a month to keep their horse there. No food is included. Is water included? I wanna know. Dude, that is such a piece of shit. I'm sorry. It's fine if that's your backyard. It's fine if that is your house and that's where you keep your horses. But what's not okay is ripping off other people who could easily go to a real boarding facility and pay $300 a month. It might be a lower end boarding facility, but there are plenty of boarding facilities across the United States that charge three, 400 bucks a month. And for that, you get an arena, your own paddock, you get big tack rooms, um, round pens, wash racks, all of that stuff can be found at real boarding facilities. Oh God, I just, I love Craigslist people. I love what Craigslist people think that they're gonna get for doing the absolute bare minimum work and the food's not even included. <laughs> oh no. Oh God, I thought I could get worse. Oh my God. At least this person is only asking 225. I guess that's a little bit better. Oh my God. If the one photo that you're putting up just looks like you put up some shitty little tiny pins in the middle of nowhere with not even covering for the horses, something's wrong. This looks like they just went to Tractor Supply and bought some really shitty little pins. Could a horse even walk through that? I mean, look at, look at how small that opening is. Like, can a horse even fit through that? And where's the covering? What, the horse doesn't get any shade? We are now offering 12 by 24 stalls with no shade covering, as well as 12 by 12 box stalls that will be coming soon. Oh, so they don't even have that. Come bring your horses and enjoy endless mountain trails or neighborhood trails designed for your horse. We have over 35 years of experience in horses. Doesn't look like it by the setup of your facility so far. And if you have that much experience with horses, why would you expect people to come and board at your shitty little backyard pen before you even have anything set up? We specialize in fitting and showing horses and breeding AQHA halter horses. It has been a dream to open our own boarding facility. We purchased 20 acres and just started that. So if you just started that, why? Obviously this is the only photo they have and it's just a couple pins in the middle of the desert. Why would you expect people to move to your facility and pay for it when you don't have anything else set up? So they're saying we will be adding tons of amenities as the weeks go by. Basically, that means that they don't have the money to pay for any of the amenities to be put up, and that's why they're advertising horse boarding, because they want to start making money. Don't open a boarding facility until you actually have the money to set everything up and then start getting people in. No way would I trust something like this. We feed twice a day and clean once a day. No extra charge to feed horses on grain. Outside stalls with no covering, $2.25 a month. Oh, now they're saying with shading? Where? Don't miss up on this up and coming boarding facility. I mean, this type of stuff is so shady, dude. It's just so shady to advertise stuff that you don't even have yet. If you don't have it, then don't advertise it. Oh my god, dude. What is up with people advertising their backyards as boarding facilities? Like, what is up with that? We have room for more horses and also slots for training. Take a ride on the ditch banks or go to the river. Great rates. Great rates? They're saying their horse boarding, that can't be right. Horse boarding and training, $1,234 a month. I'm guessing that means that that includes um, training. <laughs> also, this is literally just a tiny backyard pen. 1200 bucks a month to keep your horse in someone's backyard pen. Oh my God. It, hey, 
At least this one is a stallion, okay? Let's give this one a little bit of credit. This one says five-year-old quarter horse stallion. Could be a breeding prospect. It could have good papers. Just coming into his prime time, beautiful quarter horse stallion, no papers. <laughs> So then him being a stallion has no value at all. You don't even know if this is a quarter horse. 15 hand, awesome horse, eager for your attention. He's a head turner for sure. He's just a gray horse. He's not a head turner. Guys, this horse is really clearly a head turner. He looks like a normal horse. Wow. Oh, he's running? Wow. Never seen a horse run before. Has a very mellow temperament for a stallion, but definitely needs an experienced person. He's not for beginners. Would make an awesome cattle or barrel horse. Oh, great. So he has no training at all. They've done no training with him at all. Has had his hooves trimmed only, no shoes. At least he's up to date on that. They don't say anything about vet work. He is halter trained, wow, bare minimum. Again, he's halter trained. And has had some good groundwork, asking $8,000 as of now. He will be going into training in October, so the price will go up after that. Oh, 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 I love, I love horse ads that say, but he is gonna go into training soon, so the price is gonna go up. So you gotta buy now. Why would the price ever go up? The price for this horse should be like $1,000. I would never pay more than maybe $1,000 for this horse. You wanna know why? Because the first thing I'm gonna do is chop his balls off. This horse does not need to be a stallion. He's got no papers. You don't even know if he's a quarter horse and has no training. Why is this horse a stallion? The only reason why anybody should leave a horse intact is if the horse has good papers and they intend to breed the horse later on. That's the only reason. And nobody should ever breed horses that are grade horses. What, just because you like how they look? Get over yourself. Stop adding to the overpopulation problem. I think the biggest takeaway for this video is just because your horse has papers does not mean that your horse is valuable. Just because your horse is a stallion does not mean that your horse is valuable. 99% of the horses that you find on Craigslist are probably only worth maybe $5,000 at the most. I would be willing to bet that most of these horses should be sold between $1,000 and $3,000. This stallion, no way would I ever pay more than like $1,000 for that horse. No fucking way. So that's all I had to say for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.